Hey guys, what's going on? It is JW Games back again with another Master League episode. This time we're starting off with a Champions League game against Slovan, Bratislava, or whatever they're called. But yeah, it's going to be a cracking game. And if you do enjoy this episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe as we get straight into this pet action. Now, I want to just tell you right now, this is going to be a disgusting, disgusting piece of defending. And what, oh, it's just, oh my god, oh my god. And then, they go 1-0 up in the first minute, two minutes. But don't worry about it, because they go straight back on the attack and get what is another great chance, but a great block from Glenn Johnson there, I believe it was, to keep it at 1-0. And to keep us in the game. And this is Champions League football. And we are away as well. It's a different ball game as we go on the attack in the 35th minute. Uh, I did start Lazar Markovic in this game. And you'll see why now. As he goes on a blinding run and smashes it. Straight in the bottom corner. Lazar Markovic making it one all. <laughs> and this kid looked. He was absolutely insane this match. As you'll see further on down in the video. But Lazar Markovic played a great game. Absolutely fantastic game for us. And you can see this run, it just breaks through the middle and just demolishes the defence, absolutely demolishes the defence and smashes it into the bottom corner. Keeper had no chance. And now pick it straight up again. And here comes Ilar Amendi to Ricky Lambert, the big target man. Gives that to Milana and this really should be a goal. That really should be a goal. Uh, which is, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, we should have scored uh, from that uh, opportunity. So Ilar Amendi is going to whip in the corner. Can he get a good ball in? Ilar Amendi whips in the corner and it just goes as far as the uh, other team's defender. I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce it. Here comes Glenn Johnson with a throw in to Ilar Amendi. Awful pass back to Glenn Johnson. And Ilar Amendi really hasn't impressed me so far um, as he signed him. But obviously there's still time to change that as they play a great ball over the top. Who is their target man? I always have problems with big strikers. Heads it back down to their rather pacey attacking midfielder. The target man picks the ball back up, smashes it into the bottom corner, and it is 2-1, and we are 2-1 down. And you know you're probably thinking, I am awful at this game. This episode gets better, don't worry guys. But Lazar Markovic picks it up in the 89th minute and smashes it. And it just goes out there off of the defender. We get a good ball in now. Heads out. And they've picked it straight back up. Can we get an interception? Yes, we can. Colo Torre picks it up. Some great passing play here. To Sturridge. Lazar Markovic. Lazar Markovic making it two all in the dying embers of the game. And he's the man to save us. He's the man to save the Reds. In the Champions League to make it 2 all, and he's been an absolute star this entire game. Some great passing play from the lads. Daniel Sturridge picks it back up and then plays it straight through to Lazar Markovic in what was a pitch. It was a pitch perfect ball, and we are 2 all. And now onto the next game. This is going to be the Premier League: Liverpool versus Swansea City at Anfield. Can we get the three points that we so need? Let's find out. But yeah, as this game gets underway, you can sense you can sense the tension in the ground as we are yet to win. But so far this series, uh, we drew our Champions League game and we drew with West Brom in the opening day of the series, and this is not helping that awful pass. But some good passing play, Sturridge back to Balotelli. Balotelli plays a great ball over to Sturridge, and can Sturridge finish it? Yes, he can. Daniel Sturridge in the opening minute of the game, making it 1-0. And the early goal really helping to say Daniel Sturridge with his uh, signature pair celebration, as it were. <laughs> Celebrating right in front of the cop, and that is 1-0 to Liverpool FC. And I felt good about this game going in. I, I felt like we could definitely pick up winning at Swansea. And uh, we're doing just that so far with some great passing manoeuvres. And uh, Balotelli playing a great over the top through ball over to the English striker Daniel Sturridge, who obviously does what Daniel Sturridge does and pushes it into the goal. So uh, as we go on to the next one here, it looks like Steven Gerrard on the run. Steven Gerrard smashes one as he used to do back in the day, and 
Fabianski had his work cut out, and Fabianski had, had a great game. Uh, Fabianski did in this uh, in this fixture, and that's a great ball through to who else but Lazar Markovic, who had a great game last game, and Daniel Sturridge heads it, but it's just gone wide of the post, and we should definitely be two or three up by now. This is getting frustrating. Fabianski obviously here. Uh, He's, he's having a great game, but that was inexcusable not to get on a target. It was a great heading chance. And uh, here comes the strike force. Once again, Raheem Sterling playing over to Carlos Baca, who substituted John. Carlos Baca doesn't miss those. And Carlos Baca, the new transfer signing, makes it 2-0 against Swansea. And he has been a revelation so far for us. Carlos Baca, what an absolute legend. Um... I hope we still get him in the transfer window in real life, even though we do have Roberto Firmino. I hope Carlos Baca can be the man to end our goal scoring, uh, our goal scoring ways, and uh, you know improve us in uh, getting the goals that we need. Because Daniel Sturridge is always injured, but here comes Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling, oh, and again it should be a goal, but Fabianski with a terrific save, absolutely terrific save. He's been making those saves all game long. And Carlos Baca now going to whip one in. And who else but Steven Gerrard to get on the end of the header to make it 3-0 to the Reds. 3-0 against Swansea City. And that is an absolute great result. But is there more to come? I'm glad that the captain got on the end. And Carlos Baca with a great assist after coming on. He's just been he's just been a great talent. And Fabianski disappointed with his defence because he has had a good game. But he's letting three. And it's, uh, you know, no surprise given the, the attacking quality we have and the amount of goal scorers that we do possess in the team. But Swansea goes straight back on the attack and uh, may arguably a penalty, but we, we get it straight back off him. And uh, Carlos Bach has played through once again and he has got the pace. And he just cuts inside and smashes it where the keeper doesn't expect. And what a great goal that is. Just a sm straight counter-attack. Carlos Bach making it 4-0. Two goals and one assist for the man. The myth, the legend, and um, that about wraps it up, I believe, at Anfield. So uh, yeah, a four-nil win against Swansea, a one-all draw against a one-all draw against West Ham this season. What can we expect for Liverpool? Can we expect a title race, or will we be battling for fourth? That is the question. But as always, guys, uh, that has been the end of the game and the end of the episode. So, uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'm so glad uh, the last episode did as well as it did, and uh, hopefully this episode can do well as uh, also. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, being JW Games. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.